Tikones! Welcome back! I'm Tikeste. I'm Jones. Salam! Keme alachum. He speaks better Tigrinya than me. I'm so proud. <laughs> Still learn, still learn. <laughs> we wanted to thank you all so much for all the love and support. We could have never imagined this, not in a thousand years, that the Eritrea vlog series would be so well received. We are so, so grateful. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We have just one more ask and we promise it won't cost you a thing. Please subscribe to this channel. That helps us out immensely. This way, this quality content that we are uh, creating and obtaining and cultivating for you, we can bring to more people so that they can also see how beautiful Africa is. And then secondly, don't forget to like. All you have to do is just hit the like, hit the like. And that's it, Bob's your uncle. Thank you all so much. And on that note. Yeah, I'm Nella and ciao. <laughs>
if they run every hour, if they run every 30 minutes, if they wait to get full, because it's hard to schedule stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna need to lug our carry-on bags from there to here. Yeah, luckily we yeah we pack in light just yeah. two days. Well, what more do we need but a swimsuit and a cap tag? <laughs> yeah, clean underwear. That's it. <laughs> That is where the bus from Misawa, Masawa. See, I, I keep saying Misawa because that is a prefecture in Japan, or well, a city in Japan. It's Misawa, but we're going to Masawa. I keep mixing those up, but the bus is right there. We gotta be here Monday morning, early, because they just pack up and then leave. So it's not really a schedule. Yeah. It's when they pack, they go and they stop by three o'clock right? even before because once it's dark they're not traveling and it gets dark between five and six so. yeah. yeah and when you see the road we'll capture some content you'll understand why yeah. nobody's trying to drive it there's no dark. rail and you're just going down a hill down like a mountain three hours it is wild it is quite the journey so i completely understand why they don't do uh rides <laughs> when it's dark and you know us <laughs> we <laughs> We we only find out stuff at the last minute. And the buses, I was told by a queen here that the buses have upgraded oh, yeah. to Ooh. these things. We didn't have these. Makta, you can vouch for this. Eden, Helen, we didn't have these when we were going to Masawa. Yeah, they used the to day. be the white, they look like the uh, blue donkeys. Did you capture any of those buses over there on that side? Or yeah. Over here? Well, we were tomorrow. Okay, yeah. But they're not like those luxury yeah. buses. Well, we can even catch them Monday those, on our Those way are like here. the buses we take from DC to New York. So. But actually, far more uncomfortable. I've always ridden in those buses, so to see these sort of like new luxe, comfy buses. This oh is no! A delight. Yeah, I mean the buses that we're taking from Masawa, like the buses we yeah. take from yeah, DC to New York. So, I'll, I'll, it's up for the internet. There won't be no Wi-Fi on this bus. Ooh, all right. That's one thing we Never got down. It out. Yeah, figured it out. So we we got there to do it. I mean, we did it in enough time. We we're a little proactive this time. Yeah. All right. So later. Shops are opening up after fiesta. I mean siesta. They're opening back up. As you can see, the shutters are coming back up. See here, the shutters. Here, let me speak to the let me speak to the people. I got you. How is a siesta not one of the keys to bringing joy to life as well as to maintain mental health? Think about it. Everyone from 12 to 3 gets to go home, be with family, eat together, and then nap. And then you come back refreshed and recharged. No. How is that not wonderful? I, I try to do that in my everyday work life, but no, you my, don't. my you supervisor is like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you need to work. <laughs> you work straight through the day and through lunch. Well, I bring him his lunch down to the office because he doesn't even break for lunch. Well, I've been, yeah, you're right. Well, I tried to back when I was going to the actual office. Right. But that wasn't happening because no, nobody was on board. <laughs> they need to come here and get on board. No mask, no entry. 
Yeah. I smell some. I, is that spaghetti? Yeah. Everything smells good here. I've just been smelling food the whole time. Okay, those buses right there are the buses that used to go to Masawa, right? Yes, yes. But now they upgraded to the uh, luxury. You're luxury a lucky bus. boy. <laughs> <laughs> I always get places at the best at the best time. I know. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just tripping. I'm tripping. Look up on the top of that hill, that reminds me a little bit of San Diego. That's Castello, the restaurant I was telling you about. It's With the, the circle top, thing? Yeah, that's one of the top restaurants. It's an Italian restaurant. Castello means castle. It's a beautiful like it. view. It's delicious. The food is great there. Let me see. Looks up there. One more restaurant you want to try, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that smell I smell? That, um, frankincense. Or is it myrrh? It's um. Oh no, ghee. ghee. Where did he come from? <laughs> he just... He's also coming up out of the <laughs> siesta. Yeah. <laughs> the dogs take the longest siestas, and he's about to take another one. He's coming into the shade, babe. I think we are out too early. I'm sorry. You want to go hang out at a cafe for a minute? Yeah, let's do that. Pleasure. Told you, no one here is trying to. It is siesta all day, family. <laughs> Take one for mom and one for me. One for us. Can we take it today or another day? We'll take it today. Since we're here, we might as well grab it. It's cool, like you said. Valenciaga. <laughs> Valenciaga. Did you see this? 
resist because in 10 years she hasn't had one of these but it's hard to resist when I mean, you're only here for 10 years 10 days after no, not being here for 10 years after not being here for 10 years she could not so, resist so I what asked, do you got there i asked each if you would console me after i get whatever um intolerance effect i might get because <laughs> i know i i don't consume gluten and I haven't in ages um, and I managed to resist it even in, in Kenya I managed to resist it in Nigeria I even resisted it in Ethiopia but now I'm home <laughs> and I can't say no I haven't had one of these in over 10 years I'm gonna have one and Isha said he's going to hold me and console me later if I have a horrible response so not the recommended 80 20 as a health coach but we're also human. Yeah. She yeah. definitely is human. And what we have, we have some tea. Shahi Kamam, which is our spiced tea. tea. Similar to so like chai tea in India. We use the spices too, the ginger, the cloves, but we don't add milk to it. Isha's first. I wish she had had it at Auntie's house. You'll have to try it tomorrow at Auntie's house because Auntie makes the best Shahi Kamam. Well, I, I gotta have that. Yeah. Inevitably add a beer onto that and some suwa. And some coffee. And some coffee. <laughs> some suwa. So man, I'm good. Yeah. Uh, and I got I got some chocolate. Yeah. It looks like a delicious cake. Yeah. So I'm gonna try it. See how you like it. Try what? The pastry? Yeah. It has custard in it and it's so light and airy. Big mistake. Big. Huge. Is it Mamma Mia? Listen. Galileo. These are adult pastries. They're not sweet. They're just enjoyable. They're not for kids, people. These are not for kids. No, I repeat. I just mean... Not for children. In the what? They no, because you can't play play. You can't play play with that. You gotta eat that like an adult. This is enjoyable because it doesn't give you a Kids want all the sugar. Right, because they're accustomed to that. But if you bring them up on pastries like this, then box your uncle. It's delicious. It's been worth the 10 year wait. So, and it has dairy. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be hurting after this. Don't recommend it, but I'm going for it. I've in 10 years. I might as well just give a cake. It looks like a brownie, so I'm just gonna bite into it to see what's up. What's up with Jones made it seem like I had to twist his rubber arm to get a pastry, but he was all up at the display before I was. He was all up over there before I was. Wow, I just tasted a little corner thing, corner, yeah, I'm just Crumb. touching it. And Crumb. It was, yeah. Oh, 
That's like a. Uh... Yeah, it tastes very adultish. <laughs> it's not so sugary. It's chocolate on chocolate. And uh, inside is like, um, you know how it's kind of like that um, wet kind of uh, moist, really moist. But it's not dry moist, it's a wet moist. Would Little Jones like something like this? Oh, yeah. He'll eat anything. Yeah. It's not too um, refined or unsweetened for him? No, it's sweet enough. It's not really, it's not extra sweet. It's not so sweet that you feel like, oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for this. Amen. So it's good. I like it. But since we already had coffee at Auntie's, we opted for tea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sweet Osmata. <laughs> 10 out of 10. This time you got me. See, she's taking more. <laughs> Trying to act like she ain't taking some. This is like Dolce Vita. Sweet life. Is out there. Sweet. Is the Dolce Vita. All the families that are coming in now after siesta, after lunch. It's a holiday, they're relaxed. Even if it's not holiday, to be honest, they're always relaxed. No one is frantic. People, you know, are not running around to get from A to B. And they're not trying to take away. Because this is the Dolce Vita, a sweet life where people know how to sit down, enjoy a nice bevy, have a little something that's sweet and refined, enjoy themselves with their family. You know, they're not stuck to a device. There's not even any internet to be had, so all you have is each other. That's your entertainment. Yeah. Yeah, you can't be distracted by something that's not there to distract you, by the yeah. stimulus that we have become accustomed to. What You're distracted fact? by your... And you know what we don't see here? People in cafes and restaurants ignoring each other. Yeah. As they're just looking at feeds. <laughs> looking at feeds, literally. Yeah, scroll. It doesn't, yeah. doesn't happen. Hashtag grateful. Grateful. Sweet. Look at them, the two miniature dogs. <laughs> and their Sunday sign. <laughs> Like two adults. For more sugar. They got, they got their pastries and their tea or their coffee. As soon as she left, we reached more sugar. Look at what we got here. What did I say? Getting hers. They're probably your siblings, but imagine if they were like on a mini day. Yeah, that would be funny. Their father is right behind them. That's funny. Cute. from you. Calgary. Yeah. He went on to Toronto and now right. he's running China Star, China the only Star. Chinese restaurant in Petra. Yeah. Mish, uh -huh. the only one. Yeah, the only one, but yeah. uh, there's a roof garden. Uh-huh. Like by that building, you see? Uh-huh. That's okay. the uh, entrance. To... Campari, but on top, yeah. the roof garden, uh -huh. there's a Chinese. Oh, also, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. beautiful. So... We'll have to check it out. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. Okay. Check it out. It's good to see that you're doing yeah. well. I won't keep you, okay. but hopefully, if you have time, come by on Sunday. Okay? I will, I will. Okay, and, uh, drop by, drop by. Okay, okay. we'll do. Okay. Okay. All right, nice, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Ciao, ciao, Lisa. Ciao. Oh my gosh. Only back home. Only back home. <laughs> that is, wow. Small, big world. I know. It's so great being back. Oh. Knowledge is power. That's true, then you might want to dumb us down. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh -huh. She works so much. <laughs> yeah, you got to work till you're dead. <laughs> you right. got to keep working.
that's one Ooh. restaurant near the cafe. Oh, that looks nice. Got yeah, there's sort of a rooftop deal. Yeah. I've come here for like the thing is like Bar. it runs the gamut cuz yeah, but I've even done like fashion I've come to fashion shows here made by local designers like so it's a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. It's great. It's a great place for nightlife. It's a great place to come and party. Oh, look at that. There's a whole aircraft here. <laughs> This would be a good place to eat, but I'm so full of food, can't even think about it. But wow. it's a good atmosphere, though. Yeah, it is. What, what is this? Look at like a park. Like a fountain. Yeah, you can sit here. <laughs> You know, bring your girl here, have a little Which I am. little sweet sweet nothing to be whispered and yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell me more. <laughs> giving me the west coast vibes although we're on the east coast of africa <laughs> right west. on the east coast yeah getting right the west coast, the east coast. coast. <laughs> actually this park reminds me of a park in bologna to be honest with you it's funny that it's outside of bologna club because <laughs> i know of a park in bologna oh. proper, downtown that looks just like this hold on it says wireless internet service do we trust it mm -hmm. uh, Unity, Unity. What are you doing? He's getting warm. surmise that this place was once a military base it's got all the trappings <laughs> so to speak all the flagpoles there was a place that looked like yeah there's forts here where you can have a lookout snipers and then there's a places there was places that looked like they used to be barracks and then there was a guard a statue of a guard armed guard what a fun filled day. Look, the barbed wire and all that stuff. I'm glad, like uh, we were saying, we're glad that they repurposed it to put clubs and bars <laughs> and restaurants inside here, something for some entertainment. And it's, yeah, and the proximity to the airport, all of that. Another, another gate.
getting dark, but it's still nice out though. The weather changed a few times, but I didn't have to come out. I didn't have to come out of this cardigan or put another jacket on, which I bring with me. What did the sign say? Three seasons in two hours. Three seasons in two hours. That is Facts. so true. Facts. I got a picture of it this morning. Did you? Yeah. It's always good to see people I've not seen in a long time, but they're doing well still. Yeah. I'm grateful for that. Always good things. Yeah, Auntie's not having it though. She said we have to eat every meal at home with her. All right. Yeah. The family is like, nah, y'all not spending no money. Just come here and eat. Yes. And yes. uh, <laughs> yeah. Like Joan said, it takes us about two days, and then when we kind of acclimate and overstand the terrain a little bit and the layout, we just acclimate a little bit more and have rested after you know the long flight over from the U.S., then we kind of get into the groove of things. Yeah. And that happened for us today. <laughs> yeah, the first two days is always like, we don't know which way is up. It's a struggle. <laughs> inside out, <laughs> turned around, upside down. It's a struggle. <laughs> it is a struggle. Damn, we got an early day tomorrow. Oh. All right, um, the next time we sign on is to do the recap yep. of day three. Yep. can't believe it's been day three already. I feel like I live here. Like, I, I don't feel like I'm going back. <laughs> that makes me feel so warm and fuzzy on the inside. <laughs> uh, you can ask 